Turbo Camry Part 22. Are we done yet? So this video is about putting the drive shaft in. Initially when I started the project, I just kind of looked underneath and thought that looks like there's enough room for a drive shaft. So this part here is basically ensuring that it's going to all fit underneath there. The first attempt at making a hanger, it wasn't quite high up enough, um, causing some drive shaft angles that weren't really going to be working for me, so I had to kind of cut and redo a little bit of this, so you can see I'm basically doing some test fits. This is one of the first test fits. What we're trying to really achieve is making sure the drive shaft's nice and straight, but also, also that the angles between the shafts don't exceed roughly three degrees. So here's the hanger that I've made. It took about 16 hours to make this, a lot of cutting, a lot of grinding and drilling holes and whatnot. Here's fitting it up underneath the car. What the aim was was to not have to cut the chassis. I've basically just used existing bolt holes and repurposed them, or used a longer bolt and then put a nut on the end. Those ones right up the underneath there, they're actually part of the back of the handbrake and I've extended the bolts down to have a multi-purpose. It's all painted with that nice um, two-part paint as well. And then here's pretty much the drive shaft put in. There's about a 1.8 degree slope on that first shaft. The second intermediate shaft is level with the car and the third shaft is about 0.5 of a degree off from being level with the car. And then, but so is the diff, so it's all going to work. Here's the rear end setup again. Here's the differential and the adapters that I made for the axles. You can see that the gas tank, there is no gas tank there. And that's it. One of the main parts is finally done. All the drivetrain's coming together. Just got to put the front CVs in and start bolting all the rest of the stuff up. Bye.